Well, Guy Brush Streetwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah. If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Alrighty! Hello everyone! Welcome to Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, the special edition! Which is why it's all fancy and updated graphics and we've got these snazzy voiceovers for things. Welcome to Woodtick. No Trezor hunting zone. Mm, no Trezor hunting in this zone. Um, yeah, so I played Monkey Island 1. For my YouTube channel. There's a Let's Play. It's great. You should go watch it if you haven't. And now we're doing the sequel. The sequel's great. I love it. Just a direct continuation. It's maybe not as good according to some folks. Maybe better according to some other folks. It's certainly bigger. There's more to it. There's a bit more game. A lot more puzzles and stuff. And I'm all about that. Um, however, just like the Monkey Island 1 playthrough that I did... We're going to be playing mostly in the old-timey pixelated original version, which, luckily, no fancy tricks or anything. It just, there's just l literally an option in the menu to keep the new voiceover when you're in the old-timey original edition mode of the game. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. So, welcome to Guy Rush. He wanted to be a pirate. He's... Kind of technically a pirate, I guess. He has a lot of money. He killed LeChuck. He blew up LeChuck. We've got, like, jewelry and, like, a crown or something. Some gold bars. We've got... I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. Some certificates. I should be set for the whole trip with this. Yeah. This should be plenty of money to charter a ship. <laughs> Look at all this. I've got enough to buy my own ship in five different currencies. I'll be traveling first class on this treasure hunt. Awesome. Also... Um, since we're in the early, early stages of the game, although let's be fair, this is going to happen through the entire game, but especially early on, we need to make sure we pick up everything we can. Like the sign that says it's a no treasure hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Ooh. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. Hooray, we picked up our own first item. I'm not counting all the riches because we didn't, we, we started with those. We didn't have to find those or anything. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Okay. So we got options. Is this some sort of bribe situation? Sure, take my money. I don't want any trouble. Who's gonna make me? Shorty, or I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. 
tough guy, huh? Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! <laughs> okay... Uh, what else we got? Then who keeps the law and maintains order? Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? Okay, please, not in my new coat. Or, all right, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you. Ah, uh, not in my new coat. Please, not in my new coat. Maybe I should cut you one out of cement. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand! Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. And we have no money, but we still have our shovel at least. That's great. Alright. Um. Yeah, we're not gonna go in there just yet. We'll go in there soon enough. Oh man, it's been such a long time since I played this game. I love this game though. So our first mission, we, we're, we're ultimately, our goal as we we stated originally, as, as Guybrush stated, he's trying to find the legendary pirate treasure of Big Whoop because he's running out of LeChuck stories to tell. He really only has the one and he needs a new story. Hello. Oh, hello. Who are you? Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? You're the best character in the game. You're so cool. I love you already. You're amazing. Uh, yeah, here we go. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh, let's take a look at the cartographer. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Okay, I'm Guybrush, who are you? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Okay. Oh man, we got so many things to, to ask. How's business? How's business? Terrible. No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. Hmm, maybe there's some sort of embargo on the island. A Largo embargo. Act 1, perhaps. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. <laughs> you know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, uh, room and board. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Boy, this Largo character seems like he's going to be kind of a thorn in our side. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. With a sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. Um, what do you do here? What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map-making sort of cartographer. <laughs> oh. Oh, Guybrush. <laughs> what kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. <laughs> oh, Wally, you're the best. Uh... Is longitude the sideways one, or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. 
Hey, me too! Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. But he really likes maps. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. <laughs> I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Ooh. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? <laughs> uh, I know that I'm looking for it. That's about all. It contains unimaginable wealth, or its location is a mystery. Or, eh, just, I don't really know much about it at all. Um, I'm not necessarily going to go through every dialogue option with every character that we can interact with, although there are a lot of fun little jokes and things buried in the dialogue trees. But, eh, you know, we'll chat with Wally. I like Wally. I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? Oh, them? Yeah, I know about them. Of course. Well, well. Guess you don't need me, then. Oh, he called my bluff. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Could you tell me about the men who buried Big Whoop? Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Huh. Okay, Inky Island. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Okay, all right, look at that. We're, we're learning a little bit about Big Whoop and what's going on with it. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library, if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, oh, no, be my guest. Okay, all right, cool. So we have a, uh... oh, look at that monocle. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Did we actually look at Wally last time, or did we look at his monocle? Nice monocle. Or is Thanks. that just the only thing he's going to say? I can't That's see fine. a thing without it. Whatever. All right, so we got a little bit of a, a hint. There were four pirates. They found the treasure. They split the map between the four of them. Um, the boat shipwrecked. Uh, the, the details are hazy. If we want to know more, we should go look it up in the library, which is not on this island. So we have even more reason to get off this stupid, horrible island. Um, all right, cool. Let's go up here. Let's, uh, let's have a little chat with these men of low moral fiber who were in Monkey Island 1. Ooh, also, I'm going to take a bucket. Hey, leave that alone. Never mind. I'm not going to take a bucket. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Okay, they just didn't want me to have it. That's okay. It's just a bucket. It's just a bucket. It's just a bucket. Can we look at the men of low moral fiber? They're sleeping peacefully. <clears throat> what is it? <laughs> they were... Definitely in the first Monkey Island. They were trying to get a circus started. They had a rat. And they were going to, I don't, the rat scared off the elephant. 
I don't know. I don't remember exactly what the deal was with them. Did you ever get that circus started? Do we know you? <laughs> oh, yeah. They tried to sell me the map. That's right. I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Okay. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. But what does this have to do with performing? We're getting to that! We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Wolf. <laughs> okay, so we've heard that it's on Inky Island, which doesn't exist, and now they're saying it's on Drinky Island. I'm assuming they didn't find it, because otherwise there's not much of a game here for us, is there? Big Whoop! Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. <laughs> uh, okay. We could probably guess who sold them the boat. Um, when did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you should bore passers-by to tears with long stories? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. Okay. All right. All right. We got a little bit of money to buy some peg leg polish, I guess. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh, hmm... <laughs> Turdophobia, groundophobia, terraphermophobia, stupidity. Terraphermophobia? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like orcaphobia. Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. <laughs> I like those guys. Hey, we have a single piece of eight. I'm rich. Oh, we're rich. We could probably hire a boat with that or buy some peg leg polish. Um, one thing I want to point out that's new to the enhanced version. Ooh, special edition. Ooh. Um, there is... Aha. There's a, an object highlighting option here. So anything that we can interact with will we'll highlight if I do this. Not in the original version, but we can interact with the box. We can interact with... 
the signs. Uh, we can interact with the stack of clean laundry, I guess. The laundry guy. The peg leg in particular here. I'm sure the bucket would have lit up too. I'm assuming it's not going to highlight people that we can talk to or like creatures because we got the men of low moral fiber. We got the rat. Oh, I actually can't even click on the rat. Huh. And then the laundry guy. But we're not going to use any of that. There's also hints. Wait. Ah, okay. We can do the hint thing even when we're in the uh, old-timey mode. Yeah, no highlighting here. That's okay. Nice. All right, laundry guy. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No, we don't clean leather. Oh, they don't clean leather. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. Hmm. It's sparkly clean. Okay. Can we take some sparkly clean laundry? No ticket, no laundry. I'm not going to talk to that guy. We need a laundry ticket if we're going to grab any laundry for any weird reason. <sighs> I'm sure that's not going to come into play at all. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, let's go this way. Right now, we're just trying to familiarize ourselves with Wood Tick. Wood Tick Island. Okay, so there's an alligator. There's a guest registry, there's a bell, and there's an innkeeper. And then there's a door over there, and I'm assuming that, you know, Largo... The, the, uh, Wally said that Largo's basically, like, rented out the whole place? Hmm. Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. I can't pick that up. Use the guest registry? I'd have to have a room first. Oh. Can we look at the innkeeper? Busy guy. Time is money. Nice. Okay, nice bell. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, can we pet the I could alligator? I lose a finger doing that. Can we pick up the alligator? I could lose a finger doing that. Talk to the alligator? No. All right, let's talk to the innkeeper. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Uh, adventure games. <laughs> adventure game logic. Here's a hotel. It has exactly one room. It's booked at the moment. All right. Be with you in a second. Ooh, does it ding if we do this in the other mode? Be with you in a second. Oh, it does ding. Oh, that's great. Okay. Um, yeah, not a lot that we can do here right now. Let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that later. Um, actually, wait. Hello. Here we go. Well, it is a pile of paper. I knew there was something that we needed here. It's a pile of blank paper. Can I take a piece of paper? Can I grab another one? I've got enough. Okay. It's blank. All right. I hope Wally doesn't mind. Boy, Wally, you be careful. You keep taking off that monocle to rub your eyes and somebody might snatch it. If you're not careful, later on. I don't think we need to do that right now. Eh, we can probably do that right now. I don't know if it matters. All right, welcome to the Carpenters. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. This guy's pretty intense. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. It says Woody. That's me. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. That's about the best peg leg I've ever seen. Thanks. I made it myself. He looks buff. Oh, he didn't comment on that one. All right, fine. Let's talk to Woody the Woodsmith. <clears throat> yeah. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. Ooh, touche. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, that was great. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? Um, 
Yeah, let's ask about Largo. Let's just learn as much about Largo as we can, because he's our first big puzzle. We have to defeat him in order to get off the island. Defeat is a loose term. We're not going to be fighting him or anything. Ooh, unless there's sword fighting. I don't think there's sword fighting in this game. I think it was only in the first game. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh, I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. What do you think you're doing? I need all of them. Oh, no you don't. It's not a toy. Mm hmm. Alright, so he won't let us steal anything. He's uh, he's keeping an eye on everything, even though he's not actually looking. It's alright. It's fine. So we got some wood polish, we got some paper buckets. Let's go, uh, let's go polish a peg leg real quick. And no, that's not a euphemism for anything. Use wood polish on peg leg. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Woohoo! We got an extra piece of eight. Can we do it again? Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Oh gosh, we're gonna build up a fortune by doing this. We're gonna drain this performer for all he's worth. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. I don't know. Three is maybe fine. <laughs> we don't have any use for pieces of eight right now. Okay, all right, all right. Um, we could go down there. I don't really think there's any reason to do so just yet. We'll be back. We'll be back for it. For now, let's head out into the actual island. Here's Scab Island. There's a peninsula. There's a beach. There's a swamp. And there's a cemetery. Um... I don't remember what's out here at the peninsula, so we're going to go this way first. We need to actually go to the swamp. I do believe that's where we're supposed to go. Ah. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. Oh gosh, we're going to have to go polish his legs 17 more times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it doesn't matter. We can't even charter a ship because Largo's embargo on the island. That's okay. Um, it looks murky. I think we're going to want some swamp water in the bucket. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. Oh, we got a whole bucket of mud. Perfect. Exactly what we need. International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. All right, International House of Mojo, here we are. Let's do this. Let's go visit the voodoo hut in the swamp. Okay. Um, first things first, got to loot the place. Display model. Okay, well, let's not take the display model. There was a string here. Where is it? Oh gosh, it's all pixel hunty. Oh man, I like looking at like all the books and jars and stuff in here too. Where? Guybrush. No, no, guy. Oh no, guybrush. Bad guybrush. Don't do that. Ah, you got to be careful where you click. Can we not grab? There was a string here. Oh, there it is. It appears to be yo-yo string. It is now my yo-yo string. I'll just take a little. Yeah. I think it's yo-yo string. All right. Uh, what do you got book-wise? Looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. All right, we got jars. Bat wax. Fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. Spider lungs. Golden tongue, the five-day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. They're unlabeled. 
Tender Touch Pirate Powder prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. Eau de Mojo, the mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Skink Toes. Ash to Life, the uncremating cream. Cat Dewormer. Wart Remover. All right, mostly sounds like good things for pirates to have, you know? Seems great. Um, all right, let's walk in here a little bit further. Guy Brush Threepwood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Hey, it's the voodoo lady. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Wow, he's just shaking down everyone everywhere. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful, ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, no, she was kind of instrumental in the first Monkey Island. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person, and no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Well, I don't know if we have a lot of bravery here, but Guybrush is kind of an idiot. Will that work? What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body. And something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take this shopping list. Thanks. Now go. All right, all right. Great Recipes from the International House of Mojo, page 139, Aunt Helen's Special Voodoo Doll Mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Okay, so we have a rough idea. I mean, the head is obvious. That's got to come from Largo's head. Same with the body one. We'll just kind of figure those out as we go. The thread one, I'm willing to bet that the laundry guy would be involved. So we got to get a laundry ticket or something. Um, maybe come up with some excuse for getting Largo to actually, like, need to wash his clothes. I don't know. If only we had something that we could use to, like, dirty him up. It's a bucket full of mud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know where we would find something like that. Um, there's a cemetery down here. We haven't visited it yet. Might be a good place to go get something from one of his dead relatives. If we can find a Largo family... Like tomb or warning quarantine tomb inhabitants died of green tongue fever yeah we gotta find a grave that relates to largo stan's casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up oh stan the rickets no trespassing okay stan's cozy crypts a place to spend eternity not a fortune the quagmires no trespassing the grouts no trespassing. Oh, so many, so many families. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. Oh, gross. <laughs> um, yeah, they don't want people trespassing in the tombs. I can't imagine why. I say as I go looking for a grave to desecrate. No man commanded Jean Louise. Not on land and not on water. Jean did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. 
She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed. She got buried. Oh, that's pretty macabre. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood. Jim took every risk he could. A life of action. That was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. Oh, poor, poor Jim. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. <laughs> okay, so nobody has ever liked anybody in the Legrand family, it sounds like. Nice. Yeah, well, that's all right. This is creepy feeling. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Okay, sorry about that. Just, you know, we needed some, some better lightning and thunder. <laughs> nice. All right. Gross. That's, uh, that's one down. That's one thing knocked off the list. Tell you what, I'm going to wrap up the video here, and next time we're going to go try to get the other three things so we can make a voodoo doll and use that to drive Largo off the island or something, or, or to get him to acquiesce and let us off the island. So yeah, good to have goals, right? Thanks for joining me, everyone, and may the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.